Sit right down, sit right down, we're gonna have a show. Sit right down, sit right down, we're gonna have a show. Hey! <laughs> Play those songs, from those songs, we're gonna have a show. Sit right down, sit right down, we're gonna have a show. Hey! <laughs> Grew up in a very old house. At least until the time I was in the middle of third grade when we moved into town. But an old farmhouse just a little bit to the uh, east of Washington, Illinois. Huge house. I mean, had had more rooms than I'd seen. I used. I got lost in the house one time for three days. They had to send out search parties to find me. I lived on cheese out of the mouse traps in this house. It's such a big house. But the neat thing about this house was the hot air registers. I mean, there was these, these hot air registers all over the house, big coal furnace down in the basement. You know, I had to go in and shovel coal. But these hot air registers, boy, in the winter they were great. You could go in and you could stand on the hot air registers and warm your, your, warm your tootsies right up. You go out and you have a snowball fight with a cat, which I usually won, and you get your gloves all wet. You come in and you can lay those gloves on the hot air register, dry them right out. And if you were lucky enough to have a hot air register right behind your seat at the dinner table, it was even better. I mean, I, I sat at the dinner table. You know, we had these, this big old dinner table set. And, and right behind my seat, I mean right there, was a hot air register. And that was great, particularly if you hated peas as much as I hated peas. I mean, I'd get a big spoonful of peas, and I'd start heading from my mouth, like the good little kid you know I was. And I'd get right about here, and I'd say something clever like, Look, Mom! And my mom would turn around and look. Every time she would look, she trusted me, I guess. And she'd look, and I'd miss my mouth with those peas, and boom, dump them down the hot air register. It was great. I got rid of about five million peas that way. Worked out real well until one day my mom got mad at my dad. Now, see, when my mom got mad at my dad, she cleaned the house. That's how you could tell she was mad. And on this particular day, she started in the living room. She went into the living room, and she vacuumed the floor. This was, I'm a little upset. It happened about once a week, kept the house clean. And then she vacuumed the couch. This was a definite mad. Happened about once a month, okay, vacuuming the couch. And then my mother started vacuuming the curtains. You ever seen anybody vacuum curtains? Oh, I had never seen my mother vacuum curtains. I went, man, she's really mad at Dad this time. More dinner for me. And then my mother did something which I had never seen her do. In the living room, she walked over to the hot air register. She lifted up that grate, and she vacuumed down inside of that hot air register. <laughs> I went, uh-oh. <laughs> Dad may not be the only one in trouble here. My mom headed to the kitchen to clean. Me, I headed for the door. Bye! I, I didn't make it. I had to help. My mother drug me along to the kitchen. She gave me a nice soft cloth and some chrome polish. And she said, polish the table and chairs. Well, see, we had one of those, those chrome kitchen tables that had the legs that curved down and, and the kitchen chairs that were almost an S with vinyl seats that you stuck to in the summer. You know, you remember those things. And she said, polish the chairs and the table. So I took that chrome polish and I started polishing the table legs. My mother mopped the floor. I went on to the next table leg. My mother vacuumed the curtains in the kitchen. I finish up the table. I'm on to the chairs. I'm polishing those chairs. My mother washes every glass in the cabinet. She's getting madder by the second. As I'm finishing up, 
the last chair. My mother walks to the hot air register there in the kitchen. She lifts up the grate, and she vacuums out the dust balls and the little pieces of paper the cat had played soccer with and scored goals. She replaced that grid. She headed for the dining room where we ate our meals. Me, I headed for the door. Bye! I didn't make it. She hauled me into the dining room, and she gave me a Q-tip and a bottle, or actually a spray can, of furniture polish. Psst. Now, that sounds pretty weird. And she said, polish the lion's heads. Well, you got to know our, our dining room table. We had this huge dining room table with these big old heavy chairs that they had a red cushiony seat, and the chairs went way up above your head, and right on each side above your head were lion's heads. And those lion's heads were really neat, except in the middle of the night when you had to get up and go to the bathroom, and you'd step into that room in the moonlight, and all those lion's heads would turn and look at you. But up, except then, those lion's heads were pretty neat. And she said, dust the lion's heads. Okay, Psst. I'm very systematic. I decided to do body part at a time. I started with the mane. So I'm going around all these lion's heads. I'm dusting the mane. My mother vacuums the floor. Psst. I move on to the ears. My mother vacuums the curtains in the dining room. Psst. I move on to the mouth. My mother vacuums those red cushiony seats on those chairs. I move on to the eyes, because I don't want the lion to see what's going to happen next. Psst. My mother walks to that hot air register behind my seat. She lifts up that grid, and she finds about five million of the driest, hardest peas you've ever seen in your entire life. Several things happened real quick. One, mom was no longer mad at dad. Two, I got a new seat at the dinner table over by the plant. Three, I got put into that seat. Sit! Oh, yes, Mom, I sat down. My mother disappeared into the kitchen. She came back carrying three things. She had a spoon. She had a can opener. And she had a can of peas. She handed me the spoon. She set that can of peas down in front of me. Now, we were a farm family. I'm an only child. But my mother never fixed lunch for less than 12 farm hands. So we didn't have those little bitty cans of peas. Uh-uh. We had the five-gallon can of peas. I bet there were 8 million peas in that thing. And she set that down in front of me. She took the can opener. She slowly opened that can. She laid down that can opener, and with those dirty fingers that she'd been cleaning with all day, and she hadn't washed her hands either because I'd paid attention, with those dirty fingers, she reached down into those peas, and she lifted up that silver, silvery tin lid. And I wanted to say, Mom, your fingers are dirty. I, I might get sick. But I didn't think it was a time to bring up the question. She laid down that lid. And then in the tone of voice that only a mother can have, she looked at me and she said, start eating. I looked at what I had in front of me. I had five gallons, eight million. I had five gallons, maybe nine million peas in the can. I, I bet I had 10 million cold peas in the can. I bet if you counted, I had 10 or 12 million cold peas in the can floating in pea juice. Yeah. 
You ever wondered about pea juice? Why do they call it pea juice? I wanted to ask the question, but it didn't seem the proper time. So I got a spoonful of peas and I started heading for my mouth like the good little kid I really wanted to be. And I looked behind me for my hot air register. It wasn't there. It was over there. I looked at the peas. I looked at my mom. Looked at the peas. Looked at the plant. Plant was a bad idea. So I ate the spoonful of peas. I ate a second one. I ate a third one. I ate a fourth one. It took me an hour and a half to finish that can of peas. Now you might think that this would have left me emotionally scarred. But I discovered something halfway through those 23,827,006 peas. I kind of like them. Peas are pretty good. So I came out of that whole thing really liking peas a lot. I eat them all the time right now. So I came out of this whole thing okay. But the plant, the plant died two weeks later. I think it had too much orange juice. I'm not sure. And that's a story called peas. I was standing by my window on a cold, cloudy day when I saw that hearse come rolling for to carry my mother away. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, low by and by? There's a better. Home awaiting in the sky, Lord. 